Again, I am Teddy Winnett, and I'm the director of your local county extension office. Most of you know our office is located in the county center at Highway 50 and 45. I'm presenting an acknowledgement and recognition of your 75 years from our county executive, Jim Cruiser, and our dean and director of cooperative extension, uh, Dean Rick Clemmy. Most of you are aware that our program um, in 4-H is a part of the UW Extension Program, and that is a joint effort between the University of Wisconsin Extension and the county government, in our case, Kenosha County. I did some checking on the history, um, so I could at least identify in the line of clubs how old, knowing that Leland is celebrating their 75th, does that make it the oldest? Where did they fit? Our office opened in 1917. The first 4-H club was started in 1926, and that was Bristol County. So Wheatland Willing Workers is the second oldest club, 10 years later, uh, in 1936. So again, on behalf of Cooperative Extension in the County of Kenosha, congratulations on 75 years, and we are celebrate your accomplishments. Mary's the one not holding a black hat, so we'll make sure she gets one. So congratulations. <laughs> How many certificates can we present today? Uh, I will be very short. Uh, my name is John Fumblin. I'm the youth and family educator for the county, which means I oversee uh, the 4-H program with Beth Kitzrow, who unfortunately couldn't make it today. But this uh, certificate comes from the director of the Wisconsin 4-H program, Yvonne Horton, who also sends her congratulations to Wheatland Willing Workers 4-H Club. Uh, very few 4-H clubs uh, hit the 75 year mark. Uh, so you are, uh, you should all feel very proud in that, but who are all the current 4-H members right now? If you're currently a 4-H member, <laughs> raise your hand. So here's my deal. I will see all of you for sure 25 years from now. And we will celebrate 100 years and these three ladies will still be here to receive all the plaques, right? <laughs> yeah. So here, you got... <laughs> Very good. So let's, and by the way, really it's, it's the leadership of the club that keeps the whole thing rolling over the years. Without the volunteers, we wouldn't have a program. So I'd just like to, all the volunteers, let's hear it for all of you.